Hello. Today we visit Ask Reddit to see what was the incident at your high school. Make sure to comment your incident at your high school. With that, sit back and enjoy. Kid stole the whole bathroom, sinks, doors, locks, hand dryers. He got caught of ducking course, but they never repaired it, so the bathroom has no working sinks or doors. Got some videos, I think. Some kid shit his pants and threw up while we were doing a couple miles run. Worst part is the closest person to him when it happened was his crush. That's a wild way to tell your children how you met their mother. When I was a freshman in high school, we went into lockdown for an active shooter. There were cop cars swarming the building and helicopters flying above the school. It was a whole ordeal, and every student and teacher were obviously scared. There was a rumor floating around that the shooter was in the science hallway, which was the hallway I was in at the time. Due to all the rumors circulating, one science teacher decided to make a Molotov cocktail to throw at the potential shooter, and another science teacher broke one of his golf clubs he had stashed away in half for self-defense. It turned out the shooters were people with paintball guns, and both of these science teachers were fired the next day. It was always talked about the remaining years I spent at the high school about how terribly unfair it was for firing teachers that were in theory trying to defend their students from a potential shooter. WTF? Why would they be fired? For making a weapon? What was the justification? From what I remember, the justification was the unnecessary endangerment of students. Isn't that ironic? We had an active shooter scare once while I was in the chemistry labs. Teacher unlocked the dangerous chemicals locker and pulled some container with liquid in it out and stood by the door ready to throw it at whoever came through the door. Thankfully it was a false alarm. I only found out two years later in chemistry class that what he had pulled out was King's water, which is highly acidic. Yeah that teacher was ready to throw down. Jesus, that sounds like it'd be a slow and excruciating way to go. Teacher would probably get shot in the confusion, but it's obvious he wouldn't go down alone. Remind me never to duck with an angry chemistry teacher. Someone drew a 25-foot dick and balls on two of the bathroom walls jizzing across the remaining two walls. It was found first thing on a Monday morning and was extremely detailed. Someone spent hours on this, meaning they snuck into the school over the weekend for their art project. When I was a freshman, 2004-ish, two senior boys snuck into the school overnight and painted giant, jizzing dicks in every mouth of our mascot's image. Like every sign outside, every hallway, the gym, the cafeteria. Anywhere there was a panther image. Just sucking giant dicks. They also painted a dick on the assistant principal's car. This was way before that Netflix movie came out, but it revived quite the memories on Facebook. They were ultimately suspended and couldn't walk at graduation. When I was a sophomore, it was known around campus that a specific set of lockers that was between the campus and football field was off limits, because over summer break some kids blew the door off a locker with a dry ice bomb in a propel bottle, shrapnel. Dot. Two years into my relationship with my, now husband, he starts telling a very familiar story and I realized he was the fabled dry ice bomber my school had been talking about for the past seven years. Did he tell you why he did it? Small town, hanging out with big bro plus friends, summer break with nothing to do. No good reason, just kids being kids. Teacher, female got fired and went to court for sending a nude to a student, male. The thing was though it was the student who took her phone, found the nude in her gallery, and then sent it to himself. His mom found out about it somehow. Normally I'd be like, that's ducked, but it was the student who took her phone and sent it to himself. So like what happened to the teacher? Centerfold in the yearbook. I was at my grad ceremony and this one guy, while walking the stage, pulled his pants down and mooned everyone. Not exactly sure what happened to him but I heard he got suspended and got his diploma taken away from him. Got his diploma taken away? For real? This is absolutely insane. I'm a teacher. They definitely only took the paper copy. If you have met graduation requirements there is basically nothing that can stop you from graduating. The common one is debt. They can stop you from walking across the stage and they cannot give you the diploma, but you did graduate and they will send your transcripts to colleges and employers if requested. Someone did this the year before me. He had cut out holes in each bit cheek and mooned when his name was called. He had painted the year on his butt. Suffice to say, my school was really strict when my class graduated. 
We had a strict dress code and the Sharif's department patted us all down and checked all of our clothes. I really thought you were going say, asses. Somebody attempted to burn down the school but only half succeeded. They had to demolish the old part of the school where the fire was started and rebuild an entire new wing. Bright side was we got the first 25 meter pool in the county. You heard it here first kids, burn down your school, get a new pool. I went to a small, public school in rural Australia. Obviously, there was your standard pregnancies, deaths and mayhem, but this one is always my favorite. There was a teacher in my high school who we all really disliked and we called, Voldemort, due to the both physical and personality similarities. Dude wasn't a mass murderer or racist, but he was still a total ducking asshole. I honestly can't even remember his real name, to everyone he was just Voldemort. He also really hated being called this, and gave anyone who called him this to his face automatic detention, including myself. In the class below me, I was in year 8 at the time, so year 7s had PE with Voldemort. This girl Chloe had just been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and was low so she had a can of coke with her. She was quiet, and pretty well behaved. She started dating the class, bad boy, so to speak, called Otis, who is still a friend to this day. Anyways, Voldemort came up to her and demanded why she was drinking something sugary during class and in the gym. She explained to him her condition and why she needed it, and was confused because every single teacher had been informed. Voldemort said he'd heard, but he didn't believe it, and took away her coke. Well, her boyfriend didn't like that, and asked him what the duck he was doing. It then devolved into a shouting match between the two of them in front of the entire class, whilst she's starting to get pretty unwell. There's multiple accounts of what Voldemort's breaking point was, according to Otis himself lit was when he told him to get ducked, and also get a nose job. They were in the gym doing hockey that day, and Voldemort ended up chasing Otis, a 13-year-old around the gym with a ducking hockey stick, trying to hit him. This is again, in front of the entire class. And phones have just become a thing so of course, every single student filmed it on their shit flip phones. Of course during this, Chole faints. All the screaming attracts the principal, who walks in on a teacher literally chasing around and trying to kill a student, whilst another is unconscious. Suffice to say, he was fired that very same day. All the phones were confiscated so the teachers could delete the footage. Chloe was fine, and Otis became an outright legend for finally getting Voldemort to expose himself as the utter asshole that he truly was. When I was a sophomore, a guy asked a girl to prom by getting on stage wearing a paintball vest with red paper rolled into tubes stuffed in it, to make it look like he had bombs strapped to his chest. He held a sign that said, I'm kind of the bomb, will you be my date to prom? She said yes, he was suspended and not allowed to go to prom, and she went with someone else lol. It made news, which was just amazing since this was a small town. He claimed the school was racist and that if he were white he wouldn't have gotten in trouble for it. This was one the lighter, the incidents, at my school. Inspired by the movie The Basketball Diaries, the center of our basketball team made it a habit to masturbate on the roof of the gym. Unfortunately for him he got caught in a big way by some other students and a coach. Long story short, he was given the nickname, Stroke, and the cheerleaders even made a special cheer just for him that they'd break out when he got the ball. How did they take it? Cuz that's hilarious. He was constantly embarrassed, but he owned it and never gave anyone crap who made a joke. By the end of the season it ran its course and we all moved on to other people's humiliations. But the name stroke never went away. We just stopped thinking about the origin. Someone did a shit on the seat of a toilet and few guys got a brush and brushed it out into corridor. Headmaster came along and thought it was a fake, joke turd and picked it up. Every boy aged 16 and up was called to an assembly where the headmaster said, Today I picked up human excrement with my bare hand, a few boys couldn't handle it and burst out laughing. They never found the phantom shitter. During class my teacher and fellow student got into an argument over being tardy. The student got up, walked over to our teacher and punched him in the face. The teacher was absent for more than 8 weeks BC of his mental health, caused by the incident. Student was kicked out of school obviously. Never found out if he pressed any charges though. 1. Sophomore shot his mother on a Wednesday, came to school on Thursday and Friday, had a huge party at his place on Saturday. With the body still hidden in the apartment. 2. 
school hippie was escorting herself on the other side of the county. Used her client list as a get out of jail free card to avoid charges since she was underage. 3. Family of the school goth girl were discovered to host pay to play orgies at their house. Parents used their daughter to collect the funds at the door. 4. Two teachers were having an affair with each other and were using the old Cold War era bunker as their hookup location. 5. School went through a phase when female students would take wet tampons, dip them in ketchup, and fling them onto the ceiling until they stuck. There were a multiple but here are a few. Some freshmen sang the song, Pumped Up Kicks, in the hallway while classes were in session and said, very loudly, wow. This song makes me want to shoot up the school, which prompted a lockdown and him getting suspended. There was once a bomb threat made and the school had to go into lockdown when there were after school clubs taking place. Cops came and searched the building whilst they evacuated everyone. Thankfully, the threat was a false alarm. Two people were caught having pleasing each other on a couch in one of the classrooms. Some people that were in my grade made a cult around a science teacher. Nothing to crazy happened but they did have rituals and even made a subreddit about the guy. The teacher quit during COVID. The site we used, Schoology, got hacked three times. It was the same hacker and on the last time we got hacked they made a post saying, I am back motherduckers. With that I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching all the way until the end and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment the incident at your high school. If you want to continue to watch my content, click the video on screen now. Until next time.